This procedure can be found under vascular access titled Peripherally Inserted Central Catheters and Midline Catheters Maintenance and Management. All central lines with transparent dressings are changed every seven days. Gauze dressings are changed every two days. All central lines are changed immediately when wet, loose, or soiled. Stat locks are changed during routine dressing changes. This procedure is intended for lines three French or larger and refers to picks, tunnel lines such as Hickman or Broviax, or non-tunnel lines such as femoral or jugular lines. All patients should be assessed for the appropriateness of the need of having another person present to assist with the dressing change, and all children below the age of eight require two persons to do the procedure. Two staff are needed to complete the procedure to prevent contamination and eliminate the potential for malpositioning of the line. Neonatal pick dressing changes are performed differently and do not apply to this procedure. Discuss the procedure with the patient, if appropriate, and the family and inquire about tape and antiseptic allergies. Consider the need for a child life specialist. Perform hand hygiene, don mask, and sterile gloves. Aseptically open your supplies into the sterile field. You may use the inside wrapper of the kit to place your supplies on, but remember that lining must be impermeable. Have your assistant remove the old dressing as the person with the sterile gloves holds the catheter in place. Observe the skin around the catheter side for any signs of redness, infection, swelling, or rash. Look for any signs of infiltration or skin breakdown. Report any signs of skin breakdown or signs of infection to the healthcare provider and consider contacting the wound care nurse for a consult. And if you are unable to measure the catheter under the dressing, now is a good time to take a look and count the number of marks that equal one centimeter each. Perform hand hygiene, don mask, and sterile gloves. If using chloroprep, gently use a crisscrossing back and forth friction over the insertion site and the skin to be covered by the dressing for at least 30 seconds using one chloroprep applicator wand. You may use more than one wand if excessive drainage or oozing is noted. Keeping the site clean and dry will prevent the formation of debris. If you are using other skin preps, such as povidone iodine, due to the alcohol or chlorhexidine sensitivity, use the first swab in a back and forth motion over the insertion site, the second swab in a perpendicular direction, and the third swab in a coincentric circular motion beginning at the insertion site and moving outwards over the skin to be covered by the dressing. Allow drying for approximately two minutes before applying the dressing. You also may use three saline soaked sterile gauze to rinse the povidone iodine from the skin. When using chlorhexidine, allow the site to dry completely, about 30 seconds to assure skin disinfection. Note, if you do not allow time for the antiseptic to dry, the patient may develop an allergy and skin rash, which can lead to skin breakdown. Once completely dry, apply the skin protectant to the area of the skin where the tape will be placed and avoid putting the solution on the insertion site. Clamp the stat lock onto the catheter before taping the device. For pick lines, the stat lock will be under the dressing. Hickman's and Broviax, the securement device is too bulky and will remain outside the dressing. Internal jugular and femoral lines are not compatible with the stat locks, and on a rare occasion, the physicians placing these lines will suture them in place. If the external catheter length is greater than 1 cm, create a tension loop and then anchor the device to the skin. Avoid any kinks in the catheter. Apply the chlorhexidine patch shiny side up from over the exit site. If you're using chlorhexidine impregnated dressing, you will not need to add the patch. Apply the dressing over the site, avoid stretching the tape over the site, instead place it on gently. Label the dressing with the date and time in your initials.
Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. 